How are you making bone gang and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Mine's uh, turning out not so bad because I'm out here fishing. We'll see how the fish are biting. It might get a little bit better, might not. Uh, we're gonna be fighting some wind today, but I already knew that coming out here. But you know, when you're itching for some fishing, sometimes you gotta put up with whatever nature gives you. Found this little canal where the wind's kinda cross, cross wind, so hopefully it won't be all up in our face too bad and you won't have a lot of wind noise, but Little birdie told me they had some, uh, people have been catching a couple little fish up in here. I don't know if it's sockele or bass, but we're gonna try for the sockele first. And then we're gonna switch on to the bass. I got every tackle, bait, lure, pretty much that I own. So we're gonna throw what we can at them, see if we can't catch something. That's enough jibber jabbering. Let's get to fishing. All right, all right. Took us long enough. I don't even think I got him in the mouth. Nope, sure didn't. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I got him in the side of the mouth and the gill. He hit it as soon as it jumped off that log. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to let you go. Just want to take a good look at you. Here we go. Let me pause this for a second. I've, I've been, been through a bunch of lures. I then did my little uh, Tokyo rig with the black and blue... Uh, Lunker log. I done did a white and chartreuse, uh, whatchamacallit, spinnerbait. A little swim bait on the back of it as a trailer. And I ain't seen or caught nothing. So, good bait to try this time of year is a little square bill, knocking it along logs and stuff. Thanks for coming out, bud. And then I got that red and green. I think this is a, uh, well, I forget what uh, brand this is. I want to say it's Strike King, not quite 100%, but. I do know I got it out the Monster Bass uh, box a couple months ago. So if you want to check Monster Bass out at all, I'll always have a link in the description below as well as a discount code. But got that crawfish pattern, a little bit of watermelon, a little watermelon red up top, that red belly. Red's supposed to be the hot color during this time of year, during the spring, during the spawn. Crawfish are coming out getting warm. I don't know. I ain't ever seen too many people fish with uh with red too much around here, so that's why I figured I'd give it a try, but that was one. I guess there's something to it. That ain't no good. Why you gotta do that to me? We finally catch a fish, getting excited. <sighs> Spotlight. How oh, enough? Hey, that wasn't so bad. How did that? Okay, there we go. Come on, right back at it. Uh oh, uh oh, we're not done yet. All right, let's get back after. <sighs> Number two, about the same size too. No, ooh, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Here, let me pause this. Got that number two. Ay, ay, ay. Calm down, bro. I'm going to put you back. You done pooped all over me. Oh, yeah. Now, the reason I'm throwing these back is because it is spawning season. And Wildlife and Fishery said that they had a fish kill. And I'm sure we a bunch of them did get killed because of Hurricane Ida, the saltwater intrusion and all of that. Uh, that's probably why I haven't been catching them up in Lafitte. Had to come a little bit further north. A little bit more fresh water up here, probably. I'm just speculating. I'm not a biologist by any means, but there you go. Well, let's get this back in the water and we'll talk about the beat. There you go, partner. All right. Again, we caught him on the square bill. Now, with a square bill, don't be shy getting that thing up underneath cover like that. Bang that sucker against the wood, rip it through the grass. Don't be shy with these things. They're kind of designed for that. You can rip them down to the bottom. When you're swimming it, it's going to go head down a little bit like that. And that uh, square bill is meant to deflect off of wood and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about your treble hooks hanging up too bad. If you do get hooked a little bit, stop reeling. Let it float up a little bit because this thing does float. You want to try and just let it float. And then uh, it, sometimes it'll back off it. But so far, I mean, I've been fishing this thing for a good stretch bouncing it off of logs going over logs and i ain't hung up yet every now and then a little bit of grass maybe but you pick that right off and just keep on fishing yeah all right let's get some more man that dude cut me with his fin that hurt yeah ay 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 all right 
Well, they usually don't catch on stuff. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Scratch that. Oh, no. We're not trying to lose you. Come on now. Now, obviously, it did hang up on a piece of wood right here, but that's because I hit it on the other side of this little cypress stump. Or whatever this thing is. And it wasn't even in the water. So, couldn't exactly bounce right over it. Now, could it? Which is unfortunate because all of this cover in the water right here probably would have been a good spot. Drop it. All right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's get on out of here. We're on a log. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry about that. There we go. Boy, this lure is definitely saving the day. I tell you what, I ain't been. I wasn't gonna keep them because of that uh, wildlife and fisheries. I put that article out about a fish kill, but uh, you know, I'm thinking it ain't so bad. But I'm still not gonna keep them on this trip because I still got fish in the freezer. I ain't trying to be greedy. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna let them just keep on spawning, making babies. And then, uh, you know, I have some more to catch later on. I am gonna get a picture of this little doodad, put him on the Instagram. All right, buddy. Sorry for the backflip. I was trying to make you go ahead first, but that's all right. I guess these bad boys are wanting crawfish, kind of like myself. I just can't afford no crawfish right now. They're outrageous. Oh, oh, I thought I had another bite. <laughs> simmer down now, simmer down. All right, I seen a splash over there. It sounded like something hit the top of the water. And then of course I seen a fish jump, but it wasn't the same fish I heard hit the water. What are they shooting at me? What's going on over there? Anyway, what I was saying was on that last cast when I was bringing it across, I got it hung up on a little piece of lily or some grass or something. And right when I did that, something was trying to get it on the other side. So I'm gonna throw it there a couple more times, unless it's just my imagination, which is highly possible. All right, last one over there. And nothing. Moving on. I mean, don't get me wrong. It can get hung up, as you can see. It's not completely weedless, woodless, or whatever, but you get on the other side of it from where you got it hung up and pull back off of it, usually it come right off just like that. Well, we're back at the house. That was a couple days ago. Kind of ran out of time. The sun was going down. I had to get back to the house. But thank goodness we had that square bill crankbait because we wouldn't have caught a daggum thing. I'm fairly certain about it. Felt good to catch some of those green trout, them greenies, them big mouth bass and largies because I haven't caught a single one since uh, before Hurricane Ida. That was over six months ago. I wish I'd have had this guy. Got this in the March monster bass box. Check that out. Color's called Cream Sickle, custom color by Alex Rudd. He has a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. I think this thing would have been awesome. It's another crankbait, another silent crankbait, actually, just like the one that I used to catch those three bass. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used a, sol uh, a solid. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever used a square bill before, if you like to use them, and what kind you like to use if you use them. But if you haven't, you need to get you one go out there and try it while it is still springish out here because it's about to get hot down here in southeast louisiana but that's gonna wrap it up for today folks thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it make sure you hit that like button if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and uh catch you on the next one